Don't you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Who would have thought those little cameras on their chest would end up being their worst nightmare, catching them red-handed in their own dirty games? Here are times when corrupt cops realize they're being recorded, especially this first case where the cops crossed all lines. His name's Tyler, but so, you've done uh, this to him so, several different times well, in the first Here's the deal. If he'd stop point. giving me a reason to okay, stop him, he won't get pulled over. <laughs> on February 6, 2023, Tyler was stopped for an alleged seatbelt violation at a fueling station located at noon in Georgia. Little did Tyler know that some of the scummiest cops in Coweta County we're about to make his life a living hell. 184 Deputy Tier. I just said it. Can you hear me? Deputy Tier. It'll be on your it'll be on your ticket. Hold on one second. 10, uh, he, have him step out, sit on my car. Officer Thierry had prior run-ins with Tyler and had some sort of a grudge with him. He called for backup before printing the tickets. Why? So he'd have another person to gang up on Tyler. Soon enough, Deputy Sheriff Brooks arrived on scene and ordered Tyler outside of his truck. And what these two cops did next is both shocking and distressing to watch. Hey, 95, I'm done with his ass. 95. You ain't listening since I pulled you over. Go on, grab him. Hey, y'all ain't get him. I got him, I got him. I'm gonna tase him. Put your. Mind your back. Watch out, watch out. I'm gonna tase him. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Real smart, dumbass. I just wanted y'all to get 10, 10, 10 95. Me, I understand that, but we tell you. my ass. I wanted you to get a knife off of me so you wouldn't No, because me. you don't listen. And let me get, that's fine. Let me get your cell phone when we get done, okay? Oh, y'all got a lawsuit coming. Yeah, you do. Y'all got a lawsuit coming. No, you're right. You sure do, because you don't listen. I'm going to give you one ticket and a warning for the other. But you can't follow directions. I'm trying to get you to get a knife off of me. No. Over, over me trying to get you to get a knife yeah. out of my Ten, pocket. Four. You beat my Ten. head. Stop. Hi, come on. Talk to me like a man, oh, bro. Talk to me like a man. Y'all the biggest gang in Catwood and Cap. Have a seat. Y'all got a rap on this joker, don't you? Huh? Y'all got a rap on this joker, don't hey, you? Man. What's up? Y'all, you got a complaint form on you? No, nah, I don't. This is the the this. Pulling me over every time I come to this. That, 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 that's fine. If you would hop out and go have a seat on this hood, please. You ain't got no weapons, nothing like that on you. No. Thank you. Just walk back there. Can I go in the store yet? Nah, just hold on. I was trying to fix one to two. You have a seat on this hood. Thank you. Just have a seat on the freaking hood. Ha have a seat on the hood. Have a seat on the hood. Thank you. Put your hand on your back. Don't you? Oh, shit. Wait! Hey, y'all better get him. Come on, Amy, status check. All right. I'm going to taste it. Face. Put your. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. I'm good. It's all right. It's all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Real smart, dumbass. I just wanted y'all to get a knife off of me, bro. I understand that, but we tell you. Shoot my ass! I wanted you to get a knife off of me so you wouldn't shoot. No, because you don't listen. That's the problem. Because you don't listen. If I Tyler tried to alert the officer that he had a knife in his pocket, but instead of listening, these rage-driven maniacs slammed him to the ground, tased, and cuffed him. Luckily, Tyler's wife was on the scene and gave the real side of the story. Hey, is that your boyfriend? No, that is my husband. Your husband has really bad listening problems. Yeah, that's um, because you're so you going to catch that. Uh, okay. What's his, 
I don't even know the guy. His name's Tyler, but so, you've done uh, this to him so, several different times. Well, this isn't the first here's time. Here's the deal. If he'd stop giving me a reason to okay, stop, and he well, wouldn't get pulled over. I don't even recognize him. Okay, well. I stop hundreds of cars a year. Okay, but so. did you give him a seatbelt ticket? I was working on it, but he yeah, won't but listen. Yeah, yeah but now he's going to catch you on charge. Yeah, okay. So I'll let you call when he's bonded out. Yeah. Hey, you got Yeah, if he would just shut up. Oh, okay, I think you'd take that. No, not right now. Absolutely not. No, just sit in your car. No, yeah, you're free to go. get out of here. Don't talk. You don't have to talk to me that way. Look, I'm, 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 You're not looking out for me. Looking out for you, Tyler Merck. I don't even know the guy. He's been locked up. Was he hitting on you or anything? You said what? Was he hitting on you? No, I, I, I only slammed him down. He got right back up. I okay. thought he was going to bush ball. Of force, well, you know. Now the, her, I, re I recognize her. I never recognize her. I recognize her. Me, don't leave that oh, out. I'm not gonna leave it out. Yeah, don't leave that out of there. He choked me, had me around my throat. No, my, my elbow my was on your upper or your lower, lower chin. Yeah, Might have been on your neck. So I. Don't okay. leave none of that out. Don't leave none of that out. Sir, we have to do what we gotta do to get you in yeah, custody. Okay. Aggravated assault. Bitch. Okay. Well, I need you to go take warrants out for that then, since we did aggravated assault. We're sitting here trying to place you under arrest and you're resistant. These thugs were indecent enough to stack false charges on Tyler as he sat just inches away. Even the initial seatbelt violation was made up. Tyler removed his seatbelt as he got into the gas station to fuel up his truck. The gas station, which is private property, does not require him to wear a seatbelt. He says he wants to go to the hospital for his right knee. His right knee? He said he had surgery on it, got rods and all in it. Uh, is that something... Yeah, okay. It means he, okay, I'll, I'll call the supervisor, you're fine. I mean, he's fine. He went up on the way. Huh? I don't know. You, you have service out here? Can you call the court? Let me go to the hospital. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Hey, you get That's amazing. <laughs> God, thank you, guys. Y'all are good. You, good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Yeah, the medic said they cleared him, but he, he requested to go to the hospital because his knee hurts. Take him to jail. Okay. My pants are torn, <laughs> torn up. <laughs> so my damn pants are shredded. Uh, pulled, pulled him over for a seat. Well, he said we're going to have a lawsuit and that we violated his rights or whatever. But yeah, stop him because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Uh, immediately hops out of the truck, starts being aggressive, tells me I'm always fucking with him. I uh, don't even recognize the guy. Um, so I go back to my car. I tell Rad to come over here because he's cussing, yelling out the window. I tell Rad to sit with him. So once Rad gets here, I say, go ahead and pull him back out and sit him on my bumper because I, I don't like him in his car. He had a passenger. Gets out of the car. Uh, once again, Rad's like, hey, sit on my car. Dude refused to sit in the car. Keeps walking towards Rad. I, we told him four or five times, sit on the car. Wouldn't listen. Uh, I told him to go put his hand behind his back, and the fight was on. Well, make sure you tell him um, and uh, he said he had a he said he had a pocket knife on him, and he said that he wanted Rad to get the pocket knife so he didn't shoot him, which I never heard because I was working on a ticket. But anyway, he wouldn't listen to Rad, and he kept instructing Rad. So then I told him to put his hand behind his back. Fight was on. Took him down. He got up. Rad grabbed him back. Then take him back down the ground. I drove stunned him because he wouldn't put his hand behind his back. And my pant, my knees skinned up and. Pants are ripped, but well, let me let me explain to him. Yeah, here's, uh, here's the rad side of it because like, I, I was in the car. Here. Tier blatantly lied to his supervisor. Tyler was not exhibiting any aggressive behavior. He was pulled out of his car just because Tier didn't like him in there. There's almost a dozen violations these two cops committed for no reason. Hey, I'm going to um, I'm going to take you to the jail, um, and then they'll make a determination because since roadside and the medics clear you for medical. I had surgery on my knee. Brother, listen, I'm clear. Uh, some traffic charges and obstruction. And I'm off to watch the video and see if it's going to be felony obstruction if he fought with him. But I, I can't remember because I'm trying to get him on the ground so he don't run away like he was trying to do, okay? Over. No, you saw it. You're normally fucking the best. I'm, okay, so, so I stopped you how many times? Like three or four different times and every one of them been for window tip, but we've never received a window tip violation. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't write tickets for it. I'm trying to the gym. Well, why don't you change it? Tira confirms that he has indeed been harassing Tyler's wife, but refuses to accept that he's ever met him before. Maybe the rush from teasing a man hazed his memory. 
That's that's absolutely not our goal at all to beat people up. I can tell you that. I'm sorry. Considering all I ask you to do is not. I understand. Well, we, we tell you what to do. You understand? It's, it's our traffic stop. Why would you want me to have an iPhone? I don't. I don't need to get it at that time. The, 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 here's the thing. You're making this an opinion thing, like you like you're calling the shots. It's not a power thing, it's a traffic stop. We run the traffic stop, you do what we tell you. If you deviate from what we tell you by state law, it's obstruction. You see what I'm saying? So if I tell you to cross your feet so and sit down. Do jumping jacks. I'm supposed to do jumping jacks. Within reason, man. I'm not gonna tell somebody to do jumping jacks. Uh, so everything you say isn't it? If it's justifiable, absolutely, yeah. If I tell you to sit out, put your hands, you know, your feet in front of you and cross your legs and, and you, you don't, don't do it. That you know. I'm uncomfortable. Absolutely not. No, I, I care about us, me, and you both going home to our families. So if I have to, right? So if I have to put you in a position, so, so the knife should have been taken off me off the whenever, whenever I want it to be. By that logic, the knife was the first thing that should have been taken off Tyler, so as not to endanger both of the officers. But when's a cop logical these days? So let me ask you this: When he said, "Do you have any weapons on you?" Mm -hmm. If I'd have said yes, yeah, he'd have been like, "Okay, I'll grab it." That's so how it works. Why was it different that I walked five feet away and I realized because I you didn't? That I had a pocket because I don't need you to do that. We told you to sit on the hood of my car. We told you to sit on the hood of my car. I didn't ask about a pocket. I said sit down. That, that's fine if you want to let me know. And we heard you. But when you said that and he said that's fine, we'll get it. And you keep going and you keep walking. No, that's that's you cross the line. You should. What cases for y'all to say he's got a knife? You know, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. That's not how that works, man. Okay, but in my head, that's what it is. Well, I'm sorry it's in your head like that. And then I got beat up for it. No, you didn't get beat up for that. You got beat up because you resisted. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? That's what court's for. I'm not going to do this right now. We did what we had to do. If, if you listen, I'm gonna. I don't think y'all did the right thing. Uh, I know. Some training. I understand. That's, that's fucked up. I understand. So. Okay. Well. You know, I don't know what to tell you, brother. I can't change your opinion on it. I've tried, but... So, what was, what was hard about just removing the pocket knife and being like, okay... Because we didn't want to do... It. We were busy. We're doing... I'm working on your paperwork. He's trying to deal with your passenger. Again, with the lies, Tyr had the paperwork printed before Brooks arrived on the scene. Tyler does not know that, but Tyr's body cam sure does. If you're going to... If you're fighting the police. I'm not punching from, them. I'm not. I'm trying to punch? make sure. I, I, didn't, I couldn't see. The, I didn't see from his. You didn't get punched, did you? No, but Brooke took the shit out of me. I couldn't breathe. Oh. I'll look. He had his forearm all in my throat. I literally could not breathe. And then he came. I can't see that from his. I have to see it from his. Where his mean, cameras Brooke are. On. <laughs> on, I got, I got, all right. I'm on taser. I'm in your fucking face. Put your fucking hands on the back. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Get I'm on good. this stuff. Top of me, talking about put your hands behind your back, but he's literally, like if you were laying on your back, he's literally on my chest with his arm it's buried in my throat. I got him. I got him. Right. I'm going to tell you something. Your fucking face. Put your fucking hands behind your back. You yeah, watch I'm out. Good. Watch out. I'm going to tell you something. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just the... The option, it's an argument out there, isn't, isn't good, but... Captain Smith dismissed the seriousness of the incident, stating that no wrongdoing was found by him or three other training officers who reviewed the footage. The cops were born and bred to lie whenever. No fear of the law, no fear of hurting someone unnecessarily, only the show of power. gas station's camera captures an angle that shows that Tyler did not even take a step closer to Officer Brooks. They just tortured him out of malice, and they knew. There is no one that can ever hold them accountable for their actions. The officers could might as well have shot Tyler dead and blamed that he was reaching for his knife, and they'd still only be put on administrative leave. Nothing more. Initially charged with a seatbelt violation and obstruction of an officer, additional charges of obstruction of an officer were added upon hiring an attorney to contest the case. All charges were dropped 
stopped by the prosecution before a scheduled hearing. And the two officers, they still patrol Coweta County and are even applauded for their valiant efforts. Tyler has posted a GoFundMe to afford an attorney against these corrupt cops, and we urge you to show him your support. The last case had two egotistic cops, but this next one had one madman with a taser. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm a you, dude. What have I Get on the wrong? ground, James. What have I done wrong? 562 King. Get what on the ground. Not September 14, 2023, a Lyon County deputy was responding to a call of a bonfire near an apartment complex in Fernley, Nevada, when he came across James Gresham walking next to his bike. What's up, my man? Come here. Come here. Oh, put the bike down. Put the bike down. Mike, my bike. So I told you to put the bike down. Why are you stopping me right now? Because you're riding your bike with no I'm riding it. I gotta put the bike I gotta down. Right here. Dude, put well, the bike right down. Here. Said, no, fuck put that. the bike down, James. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm a fucking What have I done? Get on the ground, James. What have I done wrong? 562 King. Get on the ground. I've not done nothing wrong. Get on the ground, James. I've done nothing wrong. Am I being detained? Get on the ground, James. Am I being detained? Subject stop. Am I 425 being detained? 425 Willow, white male. Help! Get on the ground, James. You are being detained. On Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm crazy, you do. Get on the ground. Put the flashlight down. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? Put your hands behind your back. The deputy didn't have an answer to why he was detaining James. I guess the screening process makes sure to hire the dumbest ones possible. What am I being detained for? Why Drop that detained? flashlight. That's not an Drop that That's flashlight. That's not an articulable reason for suspicion that I committed the crime. Yeah, it is. You it took is off. Not. Yes, it is. It is not. Yeah, it is, James. No, it is not. You Call still your out. Supervisor. You still. Call your supervisor. Relax. No, I'm not relaxing. Call your supervisor. This is going to stop. Shut up. Call your supervisor. I want you to call your supervisor. My I am the supervisor. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. Yeah, try the Fifth First Amendment. Amendment. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. Yeah. None. You're riding your bike with no Zero. fucking lights on. Right there in my hand. It's got to be on the dip. It's on the bike. I just took it off. No, I just watched you right away you when I rolled up. You didn't tell me to stop. There was no stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I told you to stop I right here. That's why he's under arrest for riding a bike without a headlight. I didn't know blind deputies were part of the force now. You got a knife yeah. on you? Yeah. I know this. I have, I'm being detained for no reason. I want to talk to your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. What supervisor, James? You I think we're... I can call you dipshit. No. First Amendment no. audit right now. Go. Yeah. First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. You're in yeah. violation of my First Amendment right. And my fifth. And my fourth. And my ninth. Did you feel part, James? Yeah, sure. Face the car. Face the car. I want to see your supervisor. I just fucking told you, no. dumbass. Private property. I'm right here in my house. I live right there. What's your date of birth, James? Yeah, you do. Yeah. You are the subject of investigation, yeah. For what? For resisting right now. What's my crime? For resisting. What's my crime? Yes, resisting. I'm not resisting. Yeah. Yeah. I told you already. I already told I don't have to answer your questions. Yeah, you do. Okay. You're going to jail. Yep, you're going to fucking jail, dude. What's that for argument? I'm asking you some I basic, you, like basic information. My name's James Gresham. You know my name. I asked you what your date of birth was. I don't have to answer your questions. Yes, you do. I guess I do, huh? Yes. Because I'm being detained, yes. right? Yes. 52069. And I'm, this is an illegal stop. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Or your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. Sir. James, you know how many times you... have no right to... I'm on you know how many property. times you've been in yes, the... Sir. I'm okay. not Nothing. Nothing. Citizens like James pay millions of dollars in taxes just to be called a dipshaster risk DT and taken to jail for no reason. A cop can walk up to anyone and jail them. It's that easy for them. Yeah, fuck it. Get going, dude. I did about tase you. Is that your house? It is. Do you think that maybe you just answer a couple quick questions? But when you're rolling up here and then coming back. You told like, me to come back, so I came back. Yeah, and then I'm fucking telling you to drop the bike. You're not dropping the bike, and then bike. you fucking push it. You, you're trying to, 
And tense up on me. My hand. I didn't do nothing yes, on you. Yes, you did. That's why you were stopping me. Yes, you did. I saw you pull up here. That's why I turned around to come back. All right. I knew you were going to come. How about that? Yeah. Because when I roll up for this fucking bonfire. You were there. I was just talking to them, asking yeah. them what's up with the bonfire. Oh, and they were okay. barbecuing. Imagine that. Did you stop and ask about the fire? I didn't. You took off. I'm like, I, where's I this guy going? I, wasn't, I didn't have to stop for you. Just because you pull up, don't mean I stop my life. I have it you does have no when there's a crime being committed. I already told you. To come here to stop me. I already told you. There is no crime. I like to talk to your supervisor, sir. You don't have right now. Yeah, that's fantastic. I yeah, you can want that. Want one, one hand shit in the other. My first name right now. That's right. They have it on body camera. First name right Yeah. He has no articulable, reasonable suspicion to stop speed, me. It's not. It's the right thing to stop me un unreasonable. The first of Articulable, it. reasonable suspicion. All right. ARS. Yeah, sit tight, dude. Sit tight. Shut up. ARS. Dudes. Articulable, reasonable suspicion gets answered with shut up. This guy claims to be a supervisor, which, if true, means he trains people to act like him. Yeah. Now I'm debating whether uh, to take him, dude, just for obstructing. Yeah. It's not really, so he's riding his bike without a light. Yeah. Now I'm like, well, is this private property? Like, Was it through here he did? Yeah. So he came from fucking this side and went through here. So that's probably a trade secret, it's not his. Also, she's been bitching about it. Bitching about what? Him taking the bike. Really? That's hers. She called us like a couple weeks or maybe a few weeks ago now for it. Says that it always comes by and grabs it because it just sits outside there. Oh. Um, he'll, he'll ride it and then bring it back and take it without asking and all that. Yeah, is that your bike, James? Okay. Is it like a mountain bike? The cop knew James was in the clear. Now he was just debating to himself if he had enough of a rebuttal when things went to court. Why even escalate it to that point? Which apartment are you in? What? 18? Sound of Now I'm like, well, should I just take it for instructing? So what happened? Hey. Because I he's back behind this thing. I roll up. I'm like, hey, what are you doing, dude? Come here. Yeah. Thinking that he was trying to hide back here. Right. Now it sounds like he lives here. But as soon as he does, he's like, put the bike down. He's at me and he's like tensing up, dude. So I'm like, dude, get my taser yeah. out. And then he's like, not getting on the ground, not getting on the ground. And he's just fucking bitching. This we, shit. we heard you. Yeah. Um, do you want me to verify with 18 if he does something? Sure. Yeah. This look like tensing up and not complying to you? It's up to you guys to decide whether this cop was telling the truth or was he just full of crap. The key to the car's here. I don't have any keys at all. Is the door unlocked? How are you gonna get in? I didn't know she wasn't home until I got here. Actually, I came here and I left, went over to Jeff's house, over to Mama T's house because uh, she wasn't here. Then when you pulled up, I decided to come back home. I don't have to answer these questions, but I will. I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't want no trouble, so I left. The fire wasn't mine. All right. Well, when I'm rolling up and you're leaving, it like doesn't mean nothing. Sure I wasn't it does. Asked to stop. What's that? I wasn't asked to stop. Cause you fucking took off. I wasn't asked to stop. Yeah. I that's why I came wrong. over here and told There's you to stop. There's no reason to stop me. That's why I came over here There's and told no you to stop. There's no reason to stop me. What's your reason for stopping me? For. What's your reason for coming over here? I'm on private property, man. Note that the cops had no reason to check or enter James' apartment. The deputy still couldn't answer why he stopped him in the first place. They did discuss it among themselves, and they know that he was on private property on his bike. They were running out of options. So I think she does live there. Yeah. Because that's when Ronnie, when I came here, Gabrielson, uh -huh. he OD'd, she was the only living here. Uh -huh. um, there is no, there's only a deadbolt, and I don't know if that's locked or not. I didn't like push on the door or anything because there's the normal doorknob is missing. Mm -hmm. um, where was he at when he like, was he hiding? Was he in the grass or the paved portion? He's on the paved portion, like right by that yellow tarp thing. Looked like he's walking up there. So I was like, hey, where are you going? But well, how's he gonna get in there? Like, if he doesn't want to answer that question. Like, yeah. If he knows she's not home, how would he go there? Uh, yeah, right. that's what I'm saying. That makes sense. Unless he's like in a force entry and I mean, yeah. I don't want to, I'm not going to check the door because it's yeah. pushing that. Um, but, yeah. Um, 
hard to tell on that one. At first, I was like, yeah, he ran bike with no life. Yeah. It's probably hard to tell because no crime was committed, and making up one was impossible, even with two dumb minds combined. What's that? Duck tape. Yeah. Right. Have a seat. Snake. Made a snake, bud. Eventually, James was charged with obstructing. We know nothing else of the case as the court documents are not publicly available, but due to this stop going viral on several different social media platforms, Lyon County representative gave a statement regarding the stop. Gresham is known to have a history of resisting and obstructing law enforcement, as well the suspect of a multitude of crimes committed in Fernley. He went on to say, I have made it clear to my deputies and to the community that the Lyon County Sheriff's Office will aggressively pursue those that choose a life of crime over our quality of life. Basically what he meant was that it's either our way or jail. As of yet, no further action has been made public, but we hope that James sues the PD for violating his rights. Do you think the cops would get away with a slap on the wrist even if this case goes to court? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already. This is Detective Mystery signing off.